Now to an update on a story we've been following since November. Demolition has started on an old warehouse in Huntsville that's home to nearly a million bats. The Texas prison system owns the building, which they say has become a health hazard. Matt Doherty shows us why they're demolishing the building now and the fate of those bats. Demolition on the northern end of the old cotton warehouse is underway. We hope that by next winter, early spring, that we'll have this building completely down. Robert Hurst is a spokesman for the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, which owns the property. The prison system's other building on this block, behind those red brick walls, is home to hundreds of convicted felons. The vacant warehouse across the street, nearly a million bats. It's where they've spent their spring and summer vacations for more than two decades. This year, will be their last here. That will include um, exclusion tactics, installing one-way gates so that any bats that are there after the migration begins can leave the warehouse at, at the same time after those exclusion gates are put in to seal up the warehouse so that new bats can't go in. The plan will be much like locking the doors after the bats leave for the night. What those involved are hoping is that the bats will choose to relocate to these bat houses one block away, built years ago. For whatever reason, the bats never liked the houses in the past and instead returned to the abandoned cotton warehouse year after year. But next year, they won't have much of a choice. There's nothing that we can point to that says this one thing is a silver bullet that will attract those bats. Texas Parks and Wildlife Department says it's against state law to kill bats living in uninhabited buildings, which makes their rehoming that much more delicate. To make sure everything's done efficiently and environmentally, we'll take whatever amount of time is needed. I'm Matt Doherty, KHOU 11 News.